As everybody knows, the, uh, the uh, T-55 has a long and storied history uh, supporting the CH-47 Chinook. It was the original engine that w came on the aircraft back in the 60s. And the theme is Honeywell has always invested back into this engine and back into this aircraft to support the warfighter. So over, over the years, over the past 40 years, we've redesigned the engine, upgraded it, gave it greater capability, uh, improve, improved its reliability and sustainability over the years. So in recent years, right now, the, we, we're on the 714 GA uh, engine, which is a phenomenal engine. It is, is combat proven. I have personally flown in that air, air, aircraft when it's gotten hit by an RPG, and I can personally attest to the resiliency of that engine and supporting the warfighter and protecting our pilots and crews. That being said, the engine is about 4,700 shaft horsepower right now. We believe, in a very cost-effective way, we can increase through the 714 Charlie, which is the, uh, the next upgraded version of the um, T-55, T-55 Charlie, we can upgrade that power to about 20% or 23%, which will get it from 47 shaft horsepower up to 6,000 shaft horsepower. That's very significant. That, that gives increased capability to the warfighter, increased capability to that ground commander in terms of what he can potentially do in terms of weight and high hot and, and uh, altitude. The other thing it'll do is it'll, it'll increase uh, SFDC, so it, it'll burn less gas. And while that'll do, um, of course, you know, the savings of gas is one thing, but to the warfighter, what it really does is it extends the range. So if you extend the range of the Chinook, now the, the ground force commander can go after targets that are further away. It also gives them the capability to stay longer in a particular uh, area based upon the fuel efficiency. So how are we doing that? So the 714 Charlie is going to have an upgrade, and it's based really on a, on a couple of key areas. First area is, is, is redesigning of the compressor section. So the redesign of the compressor section is probably the main element that will lead to the uh, improved reliability, increase of SFDC, as well as the um, increase of shaft horsepower. The second thing we're doing is we're redesigning the accessory, the accessory section. So what many people don't know is on the number two engine side, I believe it's the number two engine side, in order to be able to do something with the accessories, you only have to pull the engine. So after the 714, or the, for the T-55 Charlie, we'll be able to redesign the accessory section to go on top. And that, that improves um, reliability and sustainability big time because now, the now they don't have to pull the engine to do um, maintenance on the accessories. So that one simple design is gonna save hundreds of man hours in, in maintenance for, for the warfighter. And what's the uh, progress of development of the engine? Yes, great question. So we are currently going through rig testing um, with, the seven, with, with the prototype engine. That, that's going to uh, prove our data points. Initial data so far has been very, very positive. So we'll take all that data and, and continue to refine uh, the design of 714 Charlie. Our goal is by 2022 to, to uh, complete flight testing with the U.S. Army and have it qualified and ready to go into um, whether it could be in our current Block 1 Chinooks or even uh, increased power uh, uh, requirements for, for, for Block 2. And uh, maintenance, has that, that improved? Yes, the, the maintenance on, on the um, T-55 Charlie does improve. One, by one aspect is what I mentioned on where the accessory uh, pack goes. Also, just based upon the design of the compressor, um, it's gonna, it's less parts uh, go into, into this engine. So yes, there'll be an increase of maintainability.